birth control is wrong, oh, shit, serves in the heart wrong, I personally use birth control. I want as many children as possible. I'm going to populate this earth with as many street preachers as I can. I'm going to annoy you sinners until you get to say and you have to think right. Amen. Right. So I'm going to populate you know, Most of you probably won't be perfect Christian, but the fact of the matter, I'm going to populate this earth with Christians. I'm going to fill it with street preachers and hellfire and damnation preachers. Oh, you sinners hear it over and over and over again that you're on your way to hell except you repent and you will perish. What's that? Yeah, they have a choice, but I'm going to train them up in the way they should go. That round the road, they will not, because I love them. I don't watch them prefer MTV and Nickelodeon all day and the Disney Channel. I'm not going to put them in public school, let them be brain dirty with all the garbage they teach in public school or this, this school right here. No, I'm not going to brain dirty them like that. I love them too much. Well, that TV raised them, or that raised them, or some teacher raised them who's godless, I'm going to raise them. I'm going to train them under the fear and admonition of the Lord. Amen. Yeah, you got a question? Sir, how can you say these things about public schooling? We are on a public school. What's your point? Your point is... It's called freedom of speech. Have you heard of it? Are you calling this place dirty? What's that? Public school is yeah, dirty. this place is probably dirty in your brains up. So you we need a good Bible watch. <laughs> The Bible, the Word of God, the word of God. The truth, 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 the well, actually, it's a private college. What's that? Why don't we have a Gamecock preaching to us? I have no idea. Where is he? I don't know. Where is he? I might Tell me. I mean, I, is the Gamecock some kind of rooster or something like that? Is that what it is? It's the mascot. <laughs> it's the mascot, brother. It's only the second time I've been here. So I'm learning about us. I don't know too much about us. You should learn about us and our campus before you come I know a lot about you, Sinner. I know plenty about you. Liars, thieves. How many fornicators do we have? Right? How many fornicators? Yeah, okay. Fornicators. 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 Yeah, okay. How many fornicators? Fornicators! Homosexuals! Some of you are lying. How many fornicators are here again? Raise your hand. Yeah. Some of you are lying. Sex outside of marriage. Okay. How many, any drunkards here? I know a lot about you sinners. I've gone to like about 35 campuses. I know a lot about campuses. Have you ever been drunk I sure had. I was wicked when I did it. I deserved hell when I did it. But I stopped it. No, I still deserve it. I still deserve my past sins. But God forgive me. So how can you judge us if you deserve hell just as much as we do? Well, because God commands me to judge. That's why. God commands me to judge with righteous judgment. Can I read your verse? What were you going to say? Is it only God can judge? Say who? Where does God say that? Once again. Matthew, the no, that's, that's separating the wheat from the chaff inside the church. That's what it's talking about. Separating the wheat from the chaff. So, so I, I can physically separate the wheat from the chaff. So the We're not in the church. I'm in the world right now. I'm preaching to the world. Okay, so if you're in the church, you should be going to someone and saying, Jack, here. Let you know they're a willful sin that Matthew Eden applies and I've heard this one at that. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Hold on, what anybody else see up? Nick, we're talking about how where in the Bible does it say obey the laws of the land, right? Uh huh. And you said that if you sped or went over the speed limit, which is the law of the land, that's not a sin. Because you don't sin, right? No, I said I said the speed limit's subjective. That law is very subjective. Why is that subjective? It's not enforced. It's not enforced law. Uh, you tell me you can't go as funny right now and drive nine miles per hour without getting pulled over. But you, but you could get pulled over. Yeah, you and could. If, and if you got a ticket, why would you get a ticket? We That's pay the fine. The so it's breaking the law to speed. If you get a ticket. If you get a ticket, it's not breaking the law to get fined. So if I murder somebody and they don't catch me, it's okay. That's law. Well, God's law. That's God's law. God says thou shalt not murder. It doesn't matter what the law of land says. So That's speedy, God's law. Is speeding breaking the law? Not always, no. But you're ignorant. No, I'm not. You are ignorant. Prove it. Ad hominem. It's pretty obvious. Ad hominem. It's not breaking the law. Not always. Weakest form of argument. But sometimes it is. Yeah, and when you get, when the officer pulls you, you over, it is. When you get caught. Not only when you get caught, if the 
officer would have pulled you over if you had been breaking the law. But he would pull you over if you speed. Not all the time. Look, most places, if you go five, ten miles per hour, they don't pull you over for anything. Most cops But in some places they do. Yeah, I mean, in the places. So, so if I'm in, if there's I'm a place in Louisiana called Woodworth, Louisiana, okay. and they'll, if you go one mile per hour, they'll pull you over for it. So it's sin in Woodworth, Louisiana. Yeah, that'd be so, yeah. But if I hear it's not. No, they had different laws. So guys, no. sitting, sitting in the it's Louisiana. Not talking about God, though. This is what you're not understanding. You're not understanding. Dallas don't have a law of six in South Carolina. Carolina. It's not enforced. If you get on 26, it runs it over. They don't enforce it. It is enforced. Everybody runs 80 on 26. No, it's not. Then how come some people get tickets? I'm going to tell you this. How come some people get tickets? If you're all the way and write down a piece of paper, that are certain things that is breaking the law, but they don't enforce it. It's a really great law. Oh, wait a minute now. I saw that submitting. I haven't spent a long time with that, remember? Oh, wait a minute now. Can, can I jump in here real quick? Hold on a second. What I was trying to make, which you still haven't gotten yet, is the fact that because a government writes a law down on paper, it's not really a law. It has to be enforced to be a law. Then who are the governing authorities? What's that? Who are the governing authorities? The ones who enforce it. Those who enforce the law. So if they're not enforcing the law, they did. They obviously don't care what's about that law. We have many examples of that in our government. Okay, so. Like for example, until just recently, uh, child pornography wasn't being enforced. Yeah. So, so it wasn't wrong before. No, I didn't say that. I'm, it wasn't being enforced. It's wrong according to the Bible, sinner. Child listening. pornography is? Not listening. Who does it say that about? Sexual immorality. <laughs> okay. One male, one female, monogamous, married to us. Child pornography child doesn't fit in that category. But what I'm trying to say is this. The Alex didn't care about that law that they wrote down. The Alex did not enforce it. They didn't care about that law. Now, it doesn't apply because child pornography is obviously against God's law. There's a law of land that God is uh, specifically against and not being enforced. Oh, it's not really a law. A law is something, by definition, a law is something that is enforced by the authority. That's why it's being subjection to them. It's not a subjection to my authority. So there's two, so there's two kinds of laws. One kind of no, law. I just, let me say it again. Let me finish. There's two kinds of laws. I'm no. busy right one now. Kind, listen, one law that's in want. God's word, okay? okay? Uh -huh. that, any law that's in the Bible is God's word, that's uh -huh. law. The other kind of law is any law that our government decides to enforce. Not necessarily that they pass, but only if it's That's enforced. right. Okay, so again, if you're speeding, and you're both going the same speed limit, and it gets enforced to him, it's not wrong for you or it is wrong for him. I've already answered that question, but what you're saying is worthless. You haven't proven that I've spent. That's the point. So, yeah, but the point of the matter is, whether I spit or not, my speeding was avoidable. I didn't have to speed. No one made me speed. I could have chosen not to speed. That's what everyone here is like when you sin. No one makes you sin. You're not born a sinner. You don't have to sin. God commands you to stop sinning. And if you don't stop sinning, you die in your sin, you go to hell for your sin. That's the fact of the matter. And that applies to me too. If I go out tonight and get drunk and fornicate and I die, I'm going to go to hell. Straight to hell for my sins. It applies to me too. Why, why but the fact of the matter is I'm living drunk? holy. I choose to die daily. Why do I you choose get drunk? to follow Why life. do you get drunk as a sin? What's that? Why do you God get drunk as a sin? Where? What's that? Where? First Corinthians chapter 6. Look up your little phone there. Okay. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. It's a law? Yes, there is. All drunkards will inherit hell fire. They will not inherit from death. God. So drunkenness is a sin. Law yeah. of so sin and death. You're Bud Gummer and your Miller Low Life and your dead dog and your Milwaukee's worst. You're gonna go to hell for your beer guzzling, your your keg stand, you're gonna go to hell.